Hey everyone. Okay, so today we are going to talk about weak versus unowned. Okay, so I have been really confused about weak and unknown, and I wanted to make a video. If any one of you are also confused, so let's talk about it. Okay, so what is weak and what is unknown? So weak and unknown both is attributes, right? Attributes um, which iOS gives us for any type of properties or variables we are creating. So with weak, we do not, uh, so our ARC cycle, it does not increase the reference count and it will be easily deallocated. And so same goes for unknown. Un unknown also does not increase the reference uh, count and like retain count and it will be deallocated easily. So it is not like, you know, our strong, so it won't be in our uh, memory for long. Okay, so it is very good to use weak and unowned, but the problem is we don't know where to use it, right? So let's talk about it. So over here, I have two classes. One is society and one is person. Okay, so if you're living in a society, you have to be a member of the society. But that is not necessary if you do not want. You, you just don't want. You don't want to be a member of the society. You just, you just want to be a simple person who is not the member of a society. Okay. So it is, it is like society and person is independent of each other. Okay. So that's what I want to say is weak is used when um, objects are independent of each other okay and it can be null okay so weak variables will be null it can be either a value or it can be a null so it will be an optional okay so he, over here we can see that society uh, has strong reference on person like society society should have a person then only society will be a society right but a person cannot can exist without a society right but yeah it is it is not a mandatory right a society can exist without a person and a person can exist without a society so it is an independent object type so over here we have society and we have members and members will be of person type and we have a join function where members will be added into the society okay and in person person class we have reference to society and join function to add the person in the society right uh, so we are using the society join function itself to add the person in the society right so if we if we change if we remove this it will become retain cycle right because this would be a strong reference again so this is also strong reference this is also strong reference and then it will become a uh, retain cycle which we do not want so that's why we have we should have a week over here okay so uh, whenever we want to remove so uh, person out of the reference like if ARC wants ARC can remove it from the uh, you know it can be decreased to zero and uh, it will be removed from the memory right so yeah so that's where we you use week when your objects are independent of each other and your objects are nullable right it can be null it it can be some value or it can be null so it can be an option whereas unknown is you should be using unknown when objects are not independent like it is dependent on each other but it is it is uh, deallocatable like it can be deallocated by arc so it would not it would not increase it is not a strong reference uh, point so it will not increase the retain cycle but you know it cannot be a null because because these objects are dependent of each other so if you see the example here customer and order customer you know customer will have an order okay if a customer is walking into uh, pub or something so order cannot exist without a customer or customer cannot exist without an order so that's why we have to use unknown over here so this is also a retain cycle if you remove this and put a strong reference over here so if you remove from over here then it will become a retain cycle because customer is dependent on 
uh, like customer has strong reference to order and order has strong reference to customer and it will become a routine cycle but if we keep unowned then it is a weak reference it is a weak it is an unknown reference but you know the customer will always have an order okay it can never be null and that is why we are going to use unowned so when objects are dependent to each other then we are going to use unowned but when objects are independent of each other then we'll be using weak so yep there you go okay if you like this subscribe to my channel like comment and bye bye sayonara see you in next video where is the stop uh oh i think it's not stopping no Oops.